Let's start with the second problem of isometric projection and uh, we are supposed to draw isometric drawing from this two orthographic views. Now in this case this is front view and this is top view. So first thing we'll do is we'll find what is the length, width and height of the object. Now remember that in front view we are able to see length and height of the object and in top view we are able to see length and width of the object. So here we can see the length of the object is 100. So we can note that length is 100 mm. From the top view we can see that the width is 50 mm. And from the front view we can see that the height is 50 mm. So now using these three dimensions we will first make the envelope within which the object will fit. We will also decide the orientation. So in this case I am considering that this is the direction of front view and this is the direction of top view. So as this is the direction of front view I need to draw this isometric rectangle of 100 mm length and 50 mm height. So this is 100 and this is 50. Right. So I will first start with this point. I will draw isometric line here, put 100 mm on it. Then I will draw vertical line of 50 mm and vertical line of 50 mm over here. Then I will connect these two points. Then I will draw isometric line here and on this line I will put the width so that is also 50 so I will put 50 here then I will draw a vertical line of 50 mm then I will connect these two then I will draw a horizontal uh, sorry isometric line from this point and isometric line from this point so that way the envelope is generated now if you look at the front view here we can see that there is this face here and within this face there is no continuous line that means there is no break and you can see there is one hidden line but as this is hidden line we are considering that it is not on this face that means this line is a continuous face of this shape and corresponding to that if we see in top view we can see here that there is a straight line so we can start by drawing this shape directly on the front face now we can start here with this corner and that corner is represented over here at this place. So from this point we can see that there is a vertical line of 20 mm and then there is a horizontal line and that is 70 mm because the total is 100 and this is 30. So this is horizontal line of 70 mm and we know that when there is a vertical line in front view that is representing height so here we have to represent it by drawing a vertical line so from this point we will draw a vertical line of 20 mm from that point we have a line along the length so that line must be line uh, along the length over here so that is isometric line so that line must be at 30 degree with the horizontal So we can draw that line over here of 70 mm length. Now from that point we have a vertical line that is along the height and the measurement is 30 because the total is 50 and this is 20 so this must be 30. So we have to draw a vertical line of 30 mm here. Now from that point we have a line along the length and then we have a vertical line along the height. So we can draw it over here and the vertical line we can draw over here. Now to make this shape we will first obtain this point and that point is 
20 mm from this point so we can draw a line of 20 mm from here and now to obtain this point we can look at this angle so this angle is given as 45 so this is also 45 and this distance is 10 mm here it is given so if this distance is 10 mm and this angle is 45 then this distance which is this distance also must be 10 so what we can do is we can first draw a thin line at 10 mm distance from here that means this thin line and as we understood that this is 10 mm so total is 20 so on this line we can measure 10 mm from this point so that would give us this required point so we have we will draw this line at 10 mm I already marked it now on that line I will measure 10 mm from here and that would give me the required point so now I will connect this point to the obtained point and this would be a, a non isometric line so similarly now we can obtain this point so for that we will first draw this one and the distance is 50 mm from this point so I will measure 50 mm from this point and I will mark that point first and from that point we can see there is a line along the length so we can first draw it now what we will do is we will measure 10 mm from this point towards the left and then we will draw a vertical line from that point so that would give us this required point so here we'll do that we'll measure 10 mm from this point and then from that point we'll draw we'll draw a vertical line and the intersection of this vertical line and this line gives us the required point so we have this vertical line and this line and the intersection gives us the required point so now we can connect this point to this one and now we can connect these two points with a straight line so that way now we have completed this front face now if we look at the top view so corresponding to this line we have this line over here so from this point now we have one line vertical so in top view if it is vertical that means it is along the width so we have a line along the width and that is of 50 mm so we can draw that line from this point because in top view if we are looking at this point in isometric that point is this one so this is 30 mm and on this line we can measure 30 mm and we can connect those two points or we can directly draw one isometric line from this point so that will give us the required line over here so now we have this line and we can draw this line as well so we need to simply draw a 30 mm line from this point now we need to draw this isometric circle so before that what we can do is we can draw this line and this line so from this point we will draw a vertical line so here it will be along the width and from this point also there is a vertical line so that would be from this point towards this one and as the diameter of this semicircle is 30 mm and total distance is 50 so this must be 10 and this also must be 10 mm so we can draw the 10 mm line from both the points now to draw the semicircle in isometric we need to follow the method which we have learned so for that we need to make one isometric square so here we can uh, imagine that if we would have the full circle then we, 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 we would be drawing this square in isometric right 
so we can see that the center of the square is at the center of the circle now here the center of the circle remains at the midpoint of this line over here so to draw the isometric square what we can do is we can measure this distance which is 15 mm from the midpoint so here i will measure 15 mm from this and 15 mm from this so those two points i already have now from these two points we will draw isometric lines here and here and on those lines we will measure again from this point we will measure 15 mm on this side and 15 mm on this side similarly on this line 15 mm on this side and 15 mm on this side and then from those points I will draw isometric line along the width so that would give me the required isometric square now I have to find midpoint of this edge and then I will connect that point to this one now as there is a requirement of drawing a semicircle only it is not required to obtain all the center points so we will we'll just check which points are required so there is one arc which we want to draw over here so the center of that arc is this one so that we already have then there is one more arc required to draw over here so we need to find the center of that one so for that we can connect this point to this one so here we will draw this line and now we have the required cen center at this point so now we will using compass we will complete drawing this arc and this arc so that way the semicircle is completed now next if you look at the top view we have this rectangular shape over here and corresponding to that we have this triangular shape in front view so basically it is representing nothing but a triangular wall like this so we need to draw this shape at the required place over here so that triangular wall is starting from this edge which is this and it is ending at this edge so there must be one edge over here so let's first complete this portion basically we need to draw isometric line from this point and this point and then we need to connect those two points so now we have the required edge as we can see that the triangular wall is at the center of the width right and the thickness is 10 mm that means if we extend this center line we have 5 mm on both the sides of this center line the required wall that means the thickness is spreaded 5 mm on this side and 5 mm on this side of the center line so we can first find the midpoint of this edge and we can mark 5 mm on this side and 5 mm on this side similarly we can find midpoint of this and we can mark 5 mm on this side and 5 mm on this side and then we have to just connect those two points and these two points so that gives us the required slope now let's complete this triangular shape so for that we have to draw a vertical line from this of 30 mm and we need to connect that point to this one with a straight line so that completes the triangular shape and we need to connect these two also now as there is one corner over here there must be three edges coming out of it and we can see that here the vertical edge is missing so from this we need to draw a line of 30 mm actually but if we draw the line that would intersect with this triangular wall 
that means some portion of that line will will be hidden some portion of that edge is hidden so we need to draw a vertical line from this point until it touches this triangular wall similarly we will draw isometric line from this point and the length must be 70 mm because the length should be equal to this so in that case also if we draw the line of 70 mm it would intersect with the triangular wall that means some portion of the line would be hidden so we need to draw the line touching the triangular wall like this so i think all the edges are now made yes but now we have to see that we have to check for the edges coming out of from the corners so here we can see that there is this corner from which one and two edges are coming out so there must be one vertical edge from it so that we need to draw and we have this corner from which there must be one edge coming out of it and that must be isometric line so we have to draw that line a segment of that line because only that portion would be visible so with this the object is completed and now you can correlate with this that we have two hidden lines over here and those hidden lines are corresponding to these two points so here we can easily see that when we look at it from top we will not be able to see this edge and this edge coming out of it so two hidden lines are there similarly these two hidden lines so one for this edge and one for this edge when you look at it from front we will not be able to see this semicircular hole so for that there is this hidden line now after giving dimensions the problem will be complete so we are ending this session over here and uh, you must practice at uh, home to get more idea about such objects